Hey guys, welcome back. All right, today we're gonna take another look at the Neo Geo MVSX. Now there was a stipulation when everyone reviewed this. It was something we all had to abide by. They said, don't open it up, right? And of course, in the video you can see, I tried to take it apart and then I, oh, come on, man. Seriously, come on. Uh, but I complied, I complied. But there's one small detail that you guys missed. When I went into the storage room, I opened up the storage locker. I went in there and I was looking for one thing. Do you remember what I was looking for? I was looking for the Neo Geo control panel and I got it and I brought it home. And you guys are better than this. You usually pick up on these little things in the video. It was right in front of your eyes, right there. I had it right there. I took it apart and you guys didn't even notice. So clearly I totally broke the rules. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Can you mod this? While some people may want to preserve the original MVSX in the original PCB, some may want to do more of a complete mod. And in order to do that, you're going to need to take off the PCB and you're going to gain access to the LVDS connection and the power connection for the monitor. And while we're in here, the processor is an ATM 7051H quad core running at 1.3 gigahertz, but we don't care about that right now because we're going to mod it. All right, so here we go. There's the monitor. We need to know what monitor it is so we know what VS display board to get. And the resolution of the monitor is 1280 by 1024. And with this VS display board, we can then plug this in and then plug anything HDMI up to the monitor and we're good to go. All right, in the back of the system, you're going to grab the LVDS connection. Now be careful because it is it has a little dot right there. That dot is to indicate pin one. And then pin one on the LVDS display board's got actually a little triangle. So make sure you line those up correctly and connect that to your VS display board. Now at this point, you can connect the power, which is this connection right here. And you're gonna connect that to the power connection. And now you can connect something VGA, DVI, or HDMI. So you could use a Pandora's box, a Pi, or whatever it is that you wanna mod this with. To gain access to the control panel, you need to remove these three screw covers and then you unscrew it on both sides and the panel will actually come right out. Now, I don't have the unit anymore, so I'm not able to complete this mod video. But the reason for this was to show you that if you're interested in picking one of these up, you could mod it with a Pandora's box or a Raspberry Pi or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as I get my unit, I will finish this video and show you how to do buttons and joysticks and all that. But if you wanted to know right now, you could refer to like the Pandora's box arcade one-up tutorial that ETA Prime did for or the arcade one up it actually will be very similar process or even his raspberry pi video so i'm looking forward to completing this series and showing you all the modding capabilities of the mvsx now keep in mind this is a full mod there may be soft mod opportunities in the future all right guys well in conclusion for final thoughts what we have here is a system that's very easy to mod. So the monitor can be modded very easy with a simple VS display board that'll allow us to connect VGA, DVI, HDMI. Now keep in mind, you wanna stick with things that aren't gonna output widescreen because it is a 5.4 monitor. But the beauty of this is that if you were on the fence, you can mod it. Now in the future, there may be soft mod opportunities, right? The Hilo stick team may get a, may get a, you know, their hands on this and do something. The MVSX team themselves may have software updates. So if you decide you don't want to mod it, you can kind of wait for software updates. Or if you like it as is, that's fine too. You can do joysticks and buttons and then kind of leave it stock or somewhat stock. But I just wanted to put this out there so you, the, so you know you can actually mod it. And it's as simple as doing a Gen 1 Arcade 1-Up. If anything, it might be a little bit more simple because you have more buttons to play with. So you wouldn't have to necessarily uh, put holes in your control panel to add additional buttons. So anyways, when I get the production unit, I will actually do more videos to give you guys a more complete picture of the process. But I just wanted you guys to know and get this information out there that you can actually mod this thing. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Put your comments below. I know, does this make you more excited for the system or you just don't care either way? Or, you know, you're just gonna keep it stock, whatever. Let me know below. I'm really curious about that. I will have links in the description to the VS display board that works if you wanna get it in advance of getting your, pro your product. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.